Congress reached an agreement on a new COVID-19 relief bill, and that includes another check for you when you can see the money in your bank account. A second vaccine is helping in the fight against the coronavirus this morning. When healthcare workers can expect the Moderna vaccine to arrive in Washington. Snow, rain, wind, and warm temperatures. We're starting out the week rather active before a big shift in the weather pattern takes place. It says, uh, it says restaurants uh, don't sell only happiness. This morning, a Post Falls restaurant owner is pushing back against claims of a racist sign. And now the Idaho Chinese Association is asking for an apology. Up with Krem starts right now with Jen York, Joshua Robinson, Jeremy Legou, and Dana Marie McNichol. Six oh one now on our Monday morning. Welcome to Up with Krem. Great to have you this morning. Well, a Spokane Baker is now in the finals for a holiday baking championship. Eva Roberts owns Just American Desserts in Spokane Valley, and right now she is competing for $25,000. The winner will be crowned tonight in a two-hour grand finale. It airs at 9 p.m. on Food Network. Ooh. Congrats to her for just making it to the finale. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah. Joshua, what, uh, what do you think? What do you think? I, I think she's going to win. That's oh. what I think. <laughs> that's, All right. See, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. yeah. And Joshua, you have some experience in the kitchen. I'll so I bit. feel like you have an expert opinion here. So I'm uh -huh. going to go with what you have to say. You know, yeah. let's just go with that. We'll collectively agree that, <laughs> yes, I, okay. I, I have nothing else to add. I've eaten one of your baked goodnesses, and uh, it was wonderful. Well, thank you. And uh, then I ate another. And Another and then eventually <laughs> I, I went. Whoa. Did you share them at all? Because yeah. you were supposed to share them. I was supposed to. Sh yeah, you supposed to share. Oh, yeah. We'll work on it. We'll work on it for next okay. time. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I'll work on that. But you know what I can do? <laughs> uh, weather. <laughs> I will share with you what is going to happen today in terms of weather. We're waking up to rain this morning and fairly mild temperatures. I say fairly mild for a couple of reasons. For starters, we are above where we should be this time of year in terms of temperatures. 36 degrees in Spokane. That is five degrees warmer than our high temperature should be this time of year. So that's where we're starting the day warm and that's the case for everybody. We're seeing our morning lows colder than our daytime high or warmer, excuse me, than our daytime highs should be. And that comes with a bit of rain for us here in Spokane. Expect the rain to continue for another couple of hours, kind of tapering off, coming back. And it's going to be that kind of morning commute where it's just wet road spray, but you don't really have any concerns with snow unless you get up into some of those higher elevation areas or farther off to the north. We'll see some of that snow fly this morning, but then it warms up and we get another shot of moisture later today as we get the official passage of our front and along the leading edge of that comes some strong wind and that wind will actually be what bumps our temperatures up even more. So remember when I said it's relatively warm? Well, when you have wind gusts up near 40 miles per hour later on in the day and those wind gusts coming out of the south, what it does to the temps is this. We're up to near 50 degrees as we get into the afternoon. So we hang on to that rain this morning. Rain dies down, then temperatures soar. And enjoy it if you like warm weather because this is the last day of it before cooler temps finally arrive, Jen. All right, Jeremy, temperatures in the 50s. Wow. All right, 604 now. Well, after weeks of back and forth, congressional leaders reached an agreement on a second COVID-19 relief package. Right now, Congress is getting ready to vote on the bill. Let's take a live look at the U.S. Capitol building this morning. The agreement includes $300 a week in extended unemployment benefits and a stimulus check of $600. There are also new subsidies for hard hit businesses and funding for schools, healthcare providers and renters facing eviction. Now, if you do get or if this is approved and we talk about getting $600 payments to get those quicker, experts say sign up for direct deposit. Those paper checks could take several weeks to arrive. And with just about two weeks left in the new year, that times it out so that the earliest Americans might see that second payment would be early January 2021. For the latest information on this relief bill, you can text the word money to 509-448-2000. 605 now, well, vaccinations will begin for the Moderna vaccine across the U.S. today. Experts started distributing that vaccine over the weekend, including right here in Washington. 
Uh, Washington is said to receive 128,000 doses. And experts say those doses could reach hospitals by the end of the week. Meanwhile, Washington will see a 40% drop in Pfizer doses. State leaders blame that on a communication error. Experts say, though, both vaccines are effective, but they are packed and stored differently. So I think the state's going to be thinking strategically about who gets Pfizer, which is probably might be at large hospitals, for example, that have the ultra cold storage and who gets Moderna, which may be the long term care centers or um, smaller rural hospitals. Well, experts say the goal is to provide a vaccine to all health care workers by the end of January. Today, President-elect Joe Biden is set to receive a COVID-19 vaccine publicly. Vice President-elect Kamala Harris is set to get the vaccine next week. Well, for more information about the COVID-19 vaccine, you can text vaccine to 509-448-2000. Taking a look now at what's trending. A concerned viewer sent us a photo of a racist COVID-19 message in front of a Mediterranean restaurant in Post Falls. Now, out of respect, we are choosing not to show the full sign of or the full message on the sign. But both the Spokane Chinese Association and the Idaho Chinese Association are asking for apologies from the restaurant owner. They say this type of rhetoric causes others to think this language is acceptable. During the COVID-19 pandemic, they say they've all seen a huge increase in anti-Asian hate crimes or incidents. We are very, very angry with his sign, but we understand why he's doing this, but he's ignorant. <clears throat> this kind of joke is not only not funny, it's very dangerous. It's setting up a tone to be it's okay to see things, to see things like that. It's not okay. The business owner says that there was nothing offensive, though, about his sign. Everybody will try to be angry out with each other, so really we don't care. But it's, again, there was nothing offensive or disrespect to Chinese, uh, Chinese uh, citizens or Chinese-American people. Now, police say that the issue could get brought up at City Hall and the owner may face uh, suffer civil penalties, both in the form of city law and penalties to his business licenses. Coming up, the coronavirus left one Washington woman without a job earlier this year, but her struggle opened the door for new opportunity. We had no idea where either of us was going to go next. And so sitting on unemployment, we decided it was the best time to start a project. We'll show you this artist's new safe business model and the sweet new rides she's bringing to your front door. And we are taking a look at temperatures soaring to 50 degrees later on today. I'll let you know about a cooler weather pattern that chases it. All right, Jeremy, thank you. Well, this year you can step up your holiday cocktails at home. This morning we introduce you to a cocktail historian teaching us a new twist on the old fashioned. This drink is called the Smoked Apple Old Fashioned. This uses just a basic rocks glass. They call this the original, the first cocktail. A cocktail has just four ingredients, spirits, sugar, water, and bitters. And that's exactly what we have in the Old Fashioned. I've made some cinnamon syrup for this one. And again, easy to make, store them in the refrigerator. They're just great. This is just an atomizer that's filled with a little bit of scotch. I'm going to spritz the glass with the scotch and immediately it just has that great peaty smoke scent. Then I'm going to take a couple spoonfuls, one to two, of the cinnamon syrup. This requires apple spice bitters. Um, I sell little apple spice bitters kits so you can make them yourself. And so I'm going to put in four to five dashes. I'm going to use a really good Tennessee whiskey. This is from Uncle Nearest. One and a half to two ounces. And again, as you can see, this is all just going right into the glass. So as a bartender, you would just say, I'm building this in the glass. I'm going to add some ice um, to do a proper stir. You just hold the bar spoon like a pencil. That just goes against the inside of the glass. The bottom of the spoon never leaves the bottom or the back of the glass. And you just follow the inside of the glass around. And really what you're doing is you're just moving the liquid around the ice 
you want that ice just to slowly melt and that water then um, helps to blend and really opens up the spirit. This is great to garnish with an apple slice. I made some dried orange wheels um, with a little spice on it so that can just float in there. And there you have it, a smoked apple old fashioned. Mmm, all right. Is it too early to be talking about cocktails, Joshua? He says no. Okay, 610 now. All right, we'll be sharing more of those Christmas cocktails with you all morning long right here on Up With Prem.